ओके सो दिस इज द रेनो काइगर 2023 इन ब्लैक कलर नाउ द रेनो काइगर व्हेन इट केम टू द मार्केट विद द निसान मैग्नाइट शॉक्ड एवरीवन विद इट्स प्राइस एंड इवन टुडे इट्स वीएफएम नेचर इज द राइवल्स लिस्ट ऑफ दिस कार टुडे इज मच लॉन्गर देन इट यूज्ड टू बी फॉर एग्जांपल द फ्रॉक्स देयर इज द मैग्नाइट ऑफ कॉस्ट द पंच द एक्सटर इज आल्सो कमिंग फ्रॉम हियोंडे so yeah, all these cars have definitely increased the competition in market but this car stands out even today with its lower pricing uh, these looks uh, which we are going to talk about in detail uh, this attractive front and that wonderful engine and that manual gearbox so yeah stay tuned so this is the key to this renault kyger and there is a very cool feature of this car you know for example when you walk to the car i want the ran thing i haven't even touched any buttons and the car unlocks itself now i'll walk away you see i have not pressed any buttons and the car locks itself now this is a very smart feature and uh, to start with this feature was first introduced in india by renault in the fluence uh, now the fluence of course it is expected since that is a d segment sedan but uh, 10 years later the Renault provides that feature in this amazing wonderful okay so starting off with the design of this car now this car actually has a design i love the most so now uh, from the front we are going to talk about these led drls first and then of course there are these lower placed headlamps and then there is this signature renault grille with this huge logo up front and yeah there is a place for fog lamps below but again just like the Hyundai Venue facelift they have not been added to this car coming to the side profile of the car first you see these 195 section 16 inch alloy wheels uh, with 60 profile so are not really under tired in any sense and then there is this variant badging RXZ of course because this is the top end turbocharged petrol manual on the side there you see okay the car has unlocked itself again these are good oav wheels which provide a good view of what's around and these chunky roof rails which by the way look very functional and could also be used in emergency unlike uh, many other cars in this segment which provide uh, roof rails just for name okay so this is the rear end of the car and uh, by far this is the most beautiful rear end in this segment especially these smart looking c shaped tail lights and then there is this big kyger badging of course because people need to know more about this car because this is damn underrated under appreciated of course now at the press of a button over here you get your access to this huge 405 liter boot so there is this parcel tray and yeah you can remove it of course but i'm not going to remove it and then there is this 60 40 split seats which can be folded in order to increase the boot space of this car uh, some people may draw out a comparison with the Renault Quid but uh, to be very honest that uh, comparison is mostly limited uh, to images because in real life this one absolutely looks bigger more. and even the premiumness in this design completely oozes out uh, so yeah that is all about the exterior of the okay Renault so accessing Tiger. the rear of the scarf because that is where more space is now removing this laptop bag cost to open up space there is actually a decent amount of legroom in the scarf uh despite its small size the legroom is no issue the headroom is no issue there is a lot of headroom right now for me uh so yeah there is for an average indian this car is absolutely spacious there is these rear ac vents for added convenience now there are no not much more features in the rear of course there is this armrest which we can open now talking about the interior of the car there is this beautiful renault steering which replaces the ugly steering which which used to do duty on the Ren, uh, renault duster now behind the steering wheel there is this beautiful looking instrument cluster this is an 8 inch touchscreen system and there's controls for the automatic climate control 
Uh, now this is placed a little unconventionally but I think that this could have been placed over here. Uh, okay so skipping to driving the Renault Kiger. Uh, so yeah, let's start the car. Okay. Disengaging the handbrake and let's go. Right now we are in eco mode because the car is actually very notorious for its low fuel efficiency in the sport. Uh, now uh, just making a few rounds in this ground to uh, demonstrate how light the steering wheel is at lower speeds. It is extremely light, uh, making U-turns is extremely light so that is something I like about this car. Also the ride quality will be very shaky in some of the cars with worse ride quality but this is a Renault so the ride quality is absolutely good uh, because this shares its brand name with the duster with the fluence which had a very good sense of comfort ride quality they are still known for their ride quality of course okay so okay so the stock headlamp setup i need to talk about it first this is a considerably dark road and still there's decent through. I need not to turn on the higher beams. It does work absolutely well. And yeah, even when you turn on the high beams, the car actually does give you a very good view of what's ahead of you. Uh, making a quick turn and everything about this car is so easy like it drives so easily turning the car is easy uh, now we are going to quickly take the car on the main road and quickly checking for any other traffic okay let's shift to sport mode <laughs> The car is actually good. Oh, uh, like in the eco mode, it cries a little because it is again fuel efficiency focused. Uh, that is a fuel efficiency focused mode. Uh, it focuses more on the fuel efficiency. This one is actually uh, more focused towards performance. And the, as per the owner of this car, the mileage in this mode is really poor. Uh, the car, but yeah, the punch on this car is absolutely good. There's no complaints whatsoever. Uh, quickly pulls out on the roads and you instantly realize that you can push this car harder uh, absolutely no remorse of about driving this car now i'm not going to uh, drive hard and fast or something because we are in a city again talk about the city driving and dynamics of this car and this car is actually very uh, very comfortable to drive uh, the steering wheel is light making quick overtakes is fine there's absolutely no issues with that and the steering uh, has very good response not dead like some other uh, brands so another thing to talk about this car is the brakes uh, when we talk about them uh, they are decent uh, not bad at all okay it is fast it also stops fast so yeah that is one good thing about this car i don't know what's happening over here okay ma'am please either turn on your lights or get out of my way please so we're just going to make a quick u-turn let's just push place in the car over here demonstrating the car's ease of maneuver look at how like the steering wheel is we move we move we move some more and perfect the turning radius is is absolutely cool i think the city friendliness of this car is absolutely good now uh, i am not going to take this car on the highway but let's quickly discuss its highway capabilities uh, first and foremost the ride quality is absolutely good Whatever the road is, uh, this car is typical Renault, uh, typical Duster sibling. There's no complaints whatsoever. 
the high speed stability now uh, i haven't tested it at really high speeds but 100 and around 100 this car is absolutely good uh, you wouldn't find any sort of complaints with this car in regard of uh, speeds up to 100 kmph of course uske baad to you are probably at illegal speeds on most roads so we are not going to talk about that uh, also horn uh, talking about the horn of this car it is loud enough not bad uh, doesn't irritate you like of course the Creta does ok sir please give me some space now when people like these arrive you need to just push the car it does take it it does it well it is like ok cool sir uh, you just commanded me and I am going to sprint forward without any hesitation so yeah that is something I like about this car when compared to some of the other turbocharged petrol engines uh, this is not hesitant at all nowhere as hesitant as some of the rivals are uh, well Krita guys are known for their <laughs> rash driving and I don't, don't know why is this guy <laughs> like driving so calmly ok so yeah downshift upshift because we are no we are not why are we driving in sport mode in a city let's shift back to eco yeah there is eco friendly driving uh, now in eco uh, eco mode this car the performance is bogged down you instantly feel that the performance has been watered down the car just does not go fast it is like nahi aapne sir aapne mileage ki instruction diya na to that is something this car uh, does in eco oh, no, let's shift back to sport mode because this just does not look at us instantly that uh, you know all that shyness goes away when you uh, drive in sport mode this is absolutely cool uh, if you are opting for a compact SUV on a light budget this car is absolutely good this is fun honestly uh, this car actually uh, right now averages at around 2000 sales per month but it um, in my opinion deserves a lot more because it is it has all the fundamentals cleared ok so concluding this video uh, should you buy the Renault Kyger uh, one word answer yes you should if you are looking for a compact SUV on a budget this is a good alternative to other cars this car has all covered like safety you need it ok cool it is not a 5 star rated car but it is 4 so it is not bad either we have features there is an 8 inch touch uh, the MID is cool uh, the comfort is good the quality of materials might not be very uh, impressive but it is not bad either nothing to complain either so it impresses me on all fronts ok so yeah uh, this car was actually bought for under 10 lakh the top spec variants of its rivals like the Franks are a lot higher the Franks is a good car but a lot uh, the prices are a lot higher than this so I think if you are tight on a budget you do not need to sacrifice with lower trims of any other car just get this one and you are sorted for everything that was me with the Renault Kyger if you like the video please do drop a like any other comments any other suggestions for making future videos better would be welcome of course ok cool so yeah let's park the car and be done with it thank you